Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here, getting ready to take out the Chinese Reserve I-15 BIS and Air Realistic. Um, pretty much all the capabilities of an I-15, the one difference on it. So you got the four guns, it turns pretty well, all that. But it's not going to turn or climb as well as a regular I-15. I think the reason is they added some weight so that it could carry ordnance. So let's talk about ordnance for a second. So you can do two 50 kilogram bombs on this, or you can do rockets. Um, my opinion on carrying ordnance in a fighter in air realistic is don't do it. It's not really going to help you get grounds typically. I mean, maybe one or two, but you're giving up so much in terms of uh, your air to air capability. So you're going to be slower by 10 miles per hour. Turn time is going to take longer and rate of climb is going to be lower. So just adding that extra weight is uh, going to make it more difficult for you to dogfight. I don't think it's worth it, but uh, do you. If you like it, go for it. It's uh, just realized it's going to make you heavier and uh, not as good for dogfighting. So let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, the map is Cochin, China. We have our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load, and no loadout of bombs or rockets. Keep us maneuverable. Let's go ahead and start our takeoff, see who we're with. Close your canopy there, buddy. There we go. Oh, we got a lag. Nice. Love the legs. When I'm flying them, not when my opponents are. Alright, we are airborne. We're going to climb into 125 miles per hour. It's about 200 miles or kilometers per hour, pardon me. We're going to go ahead and stay aimed over at their right hand group of uh, ground targets over here. So if we look at the map, they're going to come off this way, we're going to come off this way. I don't want to go directly towards them. I want to kind of use our teammates that uh, are doing what they're supposed to do. They're staying low and and uh, just want to get into the fight quickly. We'll use that if, uh, use that to our advantage at least. I mean, they're pretty much sacrificing themselves. We can either use that or not use that. I prefer to. So let's see who they have. They got America, Great Britain, Japan, Italy, and Sweden. Yeah, best friends, guys. Let's go ahead and nose up to 125 mile per hour climb. Get a little too fast, not enough altitude there. Somewhere in between about there. Alright, so first things we see, a couple bombers on their side. That's typical B5 and the BR. There's another bomber up there. The Stuka should be able to see him pretty soon. As soon as the Stuka can see him, um, all of us can. So that's how the spotting works. There we go, TBD. The Stuka's getting into it. Get him, buddy. All right, so we're starting to overheat. Let's go ahead and cut our engine down to 90. It's just to get that uh, overheat off and We'll change how much we're nosed up. Still stay around 125 miles per hour. Alright, things are shaping up pretty well for us. I don't see anybody on the opposing side climbing, except for maybe this P400. He's the only one doing what he's supposed to. I think we turn in towards him. Very important that we don't get shot by him. He's got freaking 20 mils, 50 cals, all sorts of nonsense. That'll eat us up. So with the spotting, this one thing that we're seeing right now is when things are directly above, below you, or when you have to look into the sun to see them, um, they're not going to show up for you at as far of a distance as, uh, as if they're just straight out in front. So Key 10 is far away. I think we just go deal with this group. Whoever wants it first can have it. Oh, 
though I'd really like to get that P400 out of the mix. Some shots at the shooter. After this P400, try and slow his roll. Good hits. Another guy just below us, J6. 36, I think. Sorry, sweetie. Alright, P26. Got plenty of ammo so we can take some of those shots you normally wouldn't. Yep, he's down. Alright, let's regroup, see what's going on here. Good run though. J8 looks like he wants some. Um, he wants grounds? Even better. Stay focused on the grounds, buddy. Everything's fine. Alright, so they're based off to our right. We've got a couple guys behind us left. Alright, J8 decided he ain't having that shit when me and another teammate jumped him. Let's go ahead and get out of the way of his guns, try and stall him out. Stalling him out's gonna help us and our teammate. Doesn't matter to me which one of us gets him, so long as he's got. Alright, let's see what these two are doing. 26 heading towards us. Oh, he's on fire. He's done. And his buddy's blowing smoke behind him. That's nice of him. Makes it much easier to spot. F3F and a TBD, so we'll go ahead and climb. Try to give ourselves an advantage when we run into these guys. They squatted together. The SQ guys are. Now nah, they seem to be working in tandem. So F3F is coming up. Let's get our speed up. Throw the weapon on. He's going to act like he doesn't see us. And then he's just going to fly right by. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Job easy, always appreciate it. Let's check on this TBD. He's got 50 cal front gunner, 50 cal back gunner. I say front gunner, but basically pilot. So try to avoid both of those best we can. Alright, we're gonna overshoot him here. Oh, engine went red. We need to get back. All right, we are RTB, just to see if we can make it, but it doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and wep. Let's get everything we can out of this. I guess his back gunner got us? I'm gonna have to check that after. Did get five kills though. Alright, so I'll either talk to you guys after I crash, or talk to you after I get back to base. Textbook. Alright, so we actually did make it back to base, which allowed us to get the Survivor Award. Um, ended up with five air kills, no grounds. As soon as we got back to base and started to uh, repair, our opponent ended up uh, jaying out of the game. So, anyways, five air kills, uh, fun. Like the I-15, obviously. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. 
America. But yeah, to say this fucking day, yeah. Beautiful.